Hey guys, this is Scope. We're back with more Let's Play uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. That's what we're playing. That's right. Look on the screen, dummy. Anyway, last time we came into this room in the Great Deku Tree, and we're going to solve its puzzle. So first off, you step on this switch, which activates these time pillars, which are act which will go down after a certain amount of time, so but we're going to go over here first. And we get a recovery heart, yay. Okay, now what you see here on the back is a gold Skulltula, different from a regular Skulltula. When you kill these, you get a token proving you killed it that you have to collect. There are a hundred in the game, and you get a prize for the for, for, for each ten you collect, up to fifty, and then you also get a prize for all one, collecting all one hundred. So we're going to be getting those along, all the, along the game. We're going to get all 100. Even though I may not want to, but I'm going to. Anyways, so we step on the switch again. And this time we're heading all the way across. Doop. Oops, don't fuck up. Okay. Get our Deku stick. Our Deku dick. And then open our and like yet another treasure. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh. You got the compass. You found the compass. Now you can see the locations of many hidden things in the dungeon. So now, as you can see on the map, you can see where you are in the room relevant to the map, and also where you entered the room. That's pretty much all it's used for. It'll also show you if there's a treasure in the room, where it's at. So anyways, what you gotta do here is get your Deku Dick, light it on fire from the torch, and light this torch on fire. Yarp. And then use your sword to put the Deku stick away so you don't waste it, because it will burn away after a while. <clears throat> okay, now what you gotta do here is pick any of these three Skulltulas. And aim at him, wait for him to turn around, shoot him in the back. And you've gotta do this twice. And then they die. And now we jump off the cliff. Ah! And landing on that cobweb activates it to break and falling in this room. Now, first thing you're going to notice is a gold skotula on the wall here. So we'll kill that. And uh, you can also climb back in these vines to climb back up to the first and second floor where we were just at in case you missed something there like the skotula. You've got a gold skotula, you got a token proven you destroyed it. Yep, press A to drop off. Alright, now as you can see, this is water. But I don't know if you guys can see it, there's actually a platform on this part of the water that you can walk on. So, we'll keep that in mind. Anyway, we got another gold skull tool right here. There's two in this room. This is the last one we can get in the Deku Tree at the moment, but there's still one we're going to have... Oh man. There's one we're going to have to come back for later after we get another item. Oh, come on, Link. Get the... No, I don't want to lock onto it. I just want to jump at it. So you jump off that ledge and you should be able to get the token. And this will be the case with a lot of gold school tools in the game. A lot of them you'll be able to kill with your projectiles, you just won't be able to reach the token, so that's a problem. So anyway, press the switch, and voila. This has a recovery heart, you don't need it. So what you gotta do here, light the stick on fire. Land on this piece of land that you can actually walk on. Jump across here, and light the cobwebs on fire. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, see, I, I lost my Deku stick because I had it out for too long. Anyway, that was pre pretty revolutionary in this game. You were able to, like, light inanimate objects on fire because it is a 3D game, which you weren't able to do in a lot of other games at this time because they were all mostly 2D side-scrollers. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, do the same thing with this guy that you did with the last one. Reflect it back at him. Please forgive me, Master. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something useful. Or cool. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is two, three, one. Twenty-three is number one. Do you think I'm a traitor? Uh, sure. But you're also smart because I would have killed you. So you just did what you had to do. So twenty-three is number one, huh? Now, as you'll see, the doors here are still locked. So what you need to do? Shoot the eyeball with the slingshot. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Man. Okay, let's get our Deku Seeds. Oh, and the Deku Seeds, by the way, what those do, you won't see them in your inventory because they're actually seeds that you use. They're, they're bullets for your slingshot, basically. After you get into the water, if you hold down A, you can dive. I bet there's some interesting things underwater. 
Yeah, I bet so. So anyways, jump in the water here. And you're gonna wanna dive down right here and press this switch. Or fail miserably like I just did. And you can only dive down for three seconds. So that's what that timer is counting down on the action command. Anyway, then hurry and get back up here and jump on this platform. Now you'll go safely under the spikes. You don't have to duck, I just like doing it just in case. Alright, let's kill this guy. You Z-target him and shoot him when he turns around. You don't have to do it in first person view. But sometimes it makes it easier. Okay, and yet a Navi's talking to us yet again. Stand next to this block and grab hold of it with A. While holding A, you can push or pull it. If you stand next to the block and press A while pressing forward towards the block, you can climb on top of it. Pay attention to what the action command says. Right, so this is actually important what she's saying. If you just stand next to the block and it says grab, then he'll grab it and be able to move it. If you're pushing forward towards it and walking towards it and press A, you'll climb on top of it. So it's actually, oh, nope, see, that's an example of me failing. So don't walk, use the action command and push it forward. Alright, now we want to climb. Very cool. Alright, now moving on. Out of that death room. Oh no, don't lock me in. So we've just got a bunch of Deku Babas in here. And so they're loading you up on Deku sticks for a reason, obviously, because what you gotta do is light all the torches. There's only two, so... Oh. Don't mess it up. Alright, and we put out our sword to keep the stick. Alright, this guy can uh, sneak up on you if you just run into this room blindly. Got him. <clears throat> okay, so, anyway, this room, um, if you step in this little middle here, where the line starts, um, some little Goma babies will drop down and try to attack you, so just try to stay on the outside of the room if you can. It's no big deal if you do, they're easy to kill, but just keep that in mind. Okay, so that room we can't do anything with because there's a cracked wall there and you can't destroy that unless you have a bomb, which we don't have bombs yet, so that's where the last skull tool is in here, so we can't come back and get it until we get the bombs later in the game. And much, much later. It's actually not that much later, it's the next dungeon, but... Anyway, so now we come back out in this room, which may not look familiar at first, but... If you look down, it is. It's the room with the two skull tools, with the water platforms. Oops, so we want to push this block down just in case we fall. We'll now have access to this floor from there, instead of having to go all the way around. So, you know, that's nice. Uh, duh. Okay, finally. No, no, no. Okay, so what are we at? Eight minutes? Okay, we got time. So now what we're going to want to do is light the Deku stick on fire, jump across to the block, jump up here, and roll. And your Deku stick will... Yeah. Anyways, there's vines there if you want to climb back up. Hearts in the water in case you're low. Right oh. Okay, so now the Deku guy that told us before the key to beating his brothers was 231. So what you gotta do is you gotta knock these guys out in the order number two, ooh, number three, and then beat number one. Be careful because the other one will try to hit you while the other one is. You're fighting the other one. Anyway, get the last guy and he'll say, How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. Queen Goma, eh? In order to administer the coup de grace to Queen Goma, strike her with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. Man, just a bunch of traitors in this place, huh? God, you guys are just buttholes. Anyways, um, that door actually leads to Queen Goma, who is the boss of this dungeon. Um, but we don't have time for that right now, actually. We only got a few minutes left. So as you can see on the map, there's a skull right next to this door, meaning it's the boss room. So in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're going to take on the boss of this dungeon, Queen Goma, and hopefully administer the Coupe de Gras. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.